He has been the voice of Kelso High School sports for almost 40 years, and they are now planning a celebration for him at a homecoming in a couple of weeks. But Rick Roberts is also very sick right now. He's been fighting cancer and Crohn's disease for about two years, so time is running short to honor him. I love seeing those old pictures of someone yeah, doing really what they cool love for so many it. years. Tim Becker's here now. He joins us. He was in Kelso today, and it really sounds like Rick is just an institution up there. He really is, Kelly. And yeah. I mean, and some of the people I spoke to up there say it's the same thing about him that they like to listen to him on the radio that is keeping him alive. And we're talking about energy and character. He wasn't even well enough to visit with us on camera today, but they hope he can still make it to homecoming on the 18th. He was given a bad diagnosis about two years ago, and he's fought right through it. And it's his spirit that has fought through uh, this uh, illness of his. Vince Scully for the Dodgers and Dave Niehaus for the Mariners. We had our Rick Roberts. It makes me feel so good that you care so much about your dad. And this is what this is all about. Bill Ammons charges four bucks a haircut. It's a small town, but full of people with big hearts. We're making a plaque the kids are because they don't want to ever lose him in their heart and mind. Rick Roberts made his way into the hearts and minds of Kelso over the airwaves, covering the Highlander sports with his trademark call. Scotty Dogs, you got his nickname was Hurricane because when he came into a room, it was 100 miles an hour and the most high-strung, excited, passionate fans. Scotty Dog all the way, and that's where his great tagline is, Scotty Dogs, you gotta love it. Uh, people know that that's Rick Roberts when they hear that. His real name is Richard Timothy Patrick O'Connell, and his memorable career at K-Log Radio began the day Steve Hansen hired him. Overwhelming personality. He comes on like a ball of fire. He bounces off the walls. This was just kind of the trip of the lifetime. We knew we had to start crossing some things off the bucket list. And Twin daughters, Kelly and Carrie, now cherish every day they still have with their dad. Every day is Christmas. Every day is Christmas. Every day with our dad right now. Every day is Christmas, and I can tell him every day that I love him. Most of Kelso feels the same way. And I always love that Scotty dogs, you gotta love them. You know, I always, I love that, I mean. Bill Ammons is raising $10,000 to start a Rick Roberts scholarship at Kelso High School, where they hope Roberts can join them a week from Friday. And I think it's just very important to keep his legacy alive in this city and county, and I was surprised how many people have responded to him. Like I told him the other night in the radio, it's, uh, it's not over till it's over. And he'll be there. He'll be there next week. Scotty Dogs, you gotta love it! Well, almost 40 years on the air, and not surprisingly, everyone you speak to in Kelso seems to have a Rick Roberts story. They only hope he's healthy enough to make it to his own celebration before the homecoming game, October 18th. Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.